Okay, so uh, Steve Graves from the Geography Department, back with uh, Geography 102, Grizzly Lab Part 3. Um, when we last left off, you had uh, recently reclassified uh, the California wilderness areas into four categories. The areas with the greatest uh, number of square miles appearing uh, or being assigned a higher value, um, in this case four, and the less desirable areas getting a value of one. Uh, you have already completed a reclassification of a California uh, trout habitat into um, values of one and three. And now what we're going to do is essentially add those two areas together plus a couple of other layers or at least one additional layer that I have already reclassified and prepared for you and then we're going to multiply it by a fourth area that has been reclassified. So go ahead and turn on those other two areas that have been reclassed already um, and those areas are the vegetation areas that have been reclassed I'm going to unclick the other areas. And so the areas that are poor habitat uh, are show up in brown. They get a value of zero. And the areas that um, they have vegetation that's acceptable but not ideal, they got a value, a reclassification of one. And then these areas that um, are up here in this sort of dark blue have a value of two because the vegetation is uh, better for grizzly bears. Now grizzlies are very highly adaptable so they could live in virtually all of these areas not so well perhaps out in the desert. Um, and then the last of these areas is that we want to keep grizzly bears out of cities and away from highways. So any of these areas um, that have a value of zero uh, are considered dangerous and so that we will multiply those areas by the sum of the other three layers. That way any of those areas that have danger will automatically, by virtue of being multiplied by zero, will also get a value of zero regardless of the quality of the rest of the habitat elements. So how do we do this? It's reasonably simple. Um, Let's launch the raster calculator. So click on the toolbox. It will appear um, from the spatial analyst tools. You may see that there is a toolbox called uh, Map Algebra. We want to expand Map Algebra, and the only toolbox or the only tool inside that toolbox is called Raster Calculator. So you double click on that, and then this uh, window appears. Essentially what we want to do is to add together our three layers of positive grizzly bear habitat and then multiply that by our one uh, highways and urban development uh, layer. So start with the left parentheses. Uh, we're going to add our reclassed California wilderness. So this should look like reclass CAW or D, uh, W1. So you can double click on that to add it to the calculator. Click on the plus button. We want to add to it our trout layer that you just made, reclass California T1 or California trout layer. And we want to add to that the layer that was created for you, which is the vegetation raster that has been classified. So double click on that. So those are our three positive layers. We want to close the parentheses up. We'll add those three first and then we will multiply it by the cities and highway raster. So click on the multiplication sign and then double click on the highways and uh, cities and highway raster. Remember this has zeros in it any place there's a city or a highway so 
uh, after the values of the first three have been summed, anything that is multiplied by a zero will be uh, reassigned a value of zero, which means unacceptable habitat. Your output raster will be called something like raster calculate one. Uh, for me, I've done it several times, so it will have a different value. You can rename these if you want. Uh, so click OK and you can let it run. Okay, so the raster calculator has uh, come up with a final designation. I can turn off all the other layers and um, this color scheme is not very good. We have the uh, glitchy value of 130 again reappearing. I'm going to uh, double click on uh, this layer to open the properties windows. I don't like the symbology. This color scheme is, is inappropriate to a, our variables that we're mapping and so let's uh, select something where the darker colors uh, or something perhaps green is ideal and something that is a, a poor color for grizzly bears is uh, some less ideal uh, location. Perhaps this purple to green one is good. Uh, so uh, the purple values have a value of zero, very bad grizzly bear habitat, and then uh, a category of nine up at the top is outstanding. Uh, we see that there's uh, 1,923 pixels associated with this, and then there's that one rogue pixel with a value of one, and we can remove that from our analysis. Click uh, OK, and we have our final map. You'll notice that there are certain parts of the state that have outstanding um, scores up here. If you click in here that you will see it has a a suitability score of 9 or the pixel value of 9 and that that is ideal uh, grizzly bear habitat. Uh, there are some other areas uh, particularly uh, around cities or highways that have a pixel value of zero, which is a very bad habitat. You can turn back on the California counties layer and answer a handful of questions that round out this portion of the lab. There are some other questions that uh, will be asked of you as well, where you will try to use some logic um, that we have learned from mountain lion habitat that could be applied uh, to help us avoid some dangers should the grizzly bear ever be reintroduced into California. You may turn on various layers and inspect what is going on with your map to answer the question. So that is it for uh, this lab. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, what I should point out before I sign off here is that uh, far more sophisticated versions of this modeling have been done with many uh, variables and sophisticated calculations and they those uh, come up with nearly the same recommendations that you have found yourself. Uh, if you like biogeography uh, if you like wildlife biography, uh, developing your skills as a GIS analyst may help you land a job or to perhaps save a species. All right, so that's it. I'm signing off.